Hello, my beautiful people, Vic Showman here. So, can you guys guess what weapon I have finally managed to get last season after all this time? Do you know what it is? Yes, how'd you know? It is the Not Forgotten. So, as you can probably tell, this is the weapon that the video is going to be on. Now, can you guess which weapon I will be using along with this Not Forgotten to reach the highest levels of toxic scumbaggery within the Crucible? <gasps> yeah, how did you know? You guys are really good at this. It is the Duskrock Blues. Man, you guys are just amazing. You guys are great at this. I well, yep, this is the setup that I'll be using for today's video. I will be reaching the highest levels of scumbaggery within the Crucible. Now, before we get into that, though, I know you guys are probably tired of this, but I do have a clan, and yeah, it is open up to everyone. Man, you guys are great at this game, dude, I tell you. Yes, so this clan is open up to everyone. Feel free to join it if you would like. It's doing a lot better than what it used to be, you guys probably remember. Back in my clan plug video, I was at like 22 members or something like that. And now we're up to 49. We got to rank 2 in less than a week. So it's looking pretty good. Just like to thank everyone who has joined so far. Thank you so much for all your support. But yep, just thought I'd give another shout out to this. But anyway, I know you guys are tired of me talking about that. But I must say, man, it feels good to be back. I am... I'm finally on winter break. Hope you guys are having a great break, a great holiday, Christmas season. If you guys have finals or midterms, hope you guys are doing well on those. I am glad I am past all of that stress, and I will be here for break making videos for you guys. So, I am glad to be back. So, as you can tell, I will be running the Dusk Rock with the Not Forgotten. And to add on top of the toxicity, I will be also running uh, Colony. Part of the reason I'm running this, though, is because I am working on getting the most useless catalyst in Destiny history. Um, but I'll be running the new, um, the new, normally I would be running, let's see, uh, Aphidius Spathe. Because, oh my gosh, I have to say it, this is my new main in the Crucible. This new subclass here is just amazing. I've been loving the knives, and I actually posted a kind of sick knife clip to Twitter the other day. I do have a Twitter. Another plug, shameless, I know. Um, if you guys want to find out like when I'm uploading, I always uh, post to Twitter whenever I upload a new video. So that'll be up on screen. So feel free if you'd like to give me the hot follow over there. Anyway, man, I'm just giving you guys more reasons to not like me. But that's fine. Um, all right, Bombardiers, they've been pretty fun so far. I haven't really like gotten used to them. I try to get my mobility up to here, up to pretty high. I got a, I'm at a 13 second cooldown, which isn't bad. But yeah, so that'll be my setup. Um, let's see how it goes. Uh, only played a, f only played a few, uh, few practice matches today, but other than that, I have no clue how this is gonna go. So, let's head right into the Crucible. Alright, and the map that we have gotten is Bannerfall. Now, I'm gonna be honest, when I saw the Earth, I'm like, please, have it be Rusted Lance. That would have been amazing if we got Rusted Lance, man. Oh my gosh. Those of you guys, guys that don't know, that is one of my favorite maps. I absolutely love Rusted Lance. Bannerfall's good too, but that's fine. We'll make do. I'm going to be honest, this might be a little tricky because, you know, with the whole hand cannon nerf and running a shotgun, um, <laughs> we got to try staying out of those long range engagements, which might be kind of tricky to do at a map like Bannerfall. But it'll work out just fine. As per usual, we are still seeing the black screen. You know, that seems a lot worse this season than it was in the past. Actually, I don't know. Like, once Shadowkeep came around, man, this black screen has been pretty bad. Is it just console players, you PCs, having this too? Probably not. Probably just console players. You know, I've got to talk. I've got to find something to talk about during this black screen, right? You know, come on, game. You're making my job harder here. Can can you can, can we start the game? There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Also, another thing I would love to mention is that they stop putting your guardian in front every time. Although your boy is up in front. Uh, but yeah, your guardian isn't in front every time. So my guess is that um, the other players probably saw me <clears throat> in front right there, which is pretty cool. Because back in Destiny 1, they'd have a certain player holding the banner up in front. And it wouldn't be you every time. And I, I don't know, they, they would have it so it would be like only the guardian with the highest light or something like that would hold the banner so I'm not really sure 
Um. <laughs> Warm welcome from the Arbalist, dude. I swear. Is it just me? But, you know, I never really hated the Arbalist. But now, ever since um, everyone's trying to get the Komodo, everyone's using the Arbalist. And I hate that gun now. They made me hate a gun, which I initially did not hate. And can we please talk about that melee? I would love to talk about that melee. You know, is that just me? I feel like that's just me. My luck is apparently just garbage, but it's fine. Alright, so let's push up to mid here. And start putting in some work because that is exactly what I am not doing right now. Dude, I am terrified. Like... Everyone is up over here using their Arbalists, and I'm using a Not Forgotten, and they're just gonna completely outgun me. Because, you know, Arbalist, and it apparently has no flinch. Oh, fudge, I thought that was an enemy for a second. Oh, I, what's going on? I'm very confused. Can someone please tell me what's going on? <laughs> okay, that was a little bizarre, but we're gonna push up front here. There should be a guy right here. We got him. Oh, jeez, I'm so used to, like, when I was running Arc Strider in comp, I would always do, like, the little dash melee thing. So I always accidentally throw out my melee, except now that I'm running uh, throwing knives, obviously, I end up wasting my throwing knives, which is not good. But that's why I, I am running. And I'm going to get killed? Oh, my gosh. That terrifies the living crap out of me. Okay, we got him. We're good. We're A-OK. -okay. Kind of panicked on the shotgun play there, but it's fine. We'll make do. All right, let's see. Someone's going to be pushing up here. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. We still got him. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. My shotgun shots are blanking, and that is an arbalist. I freaking hate that gun. Not only does it have, like, infinite aim assist, it has no flinch. That gun has absolutely zero flinch. At least, I don't know, from what I've used it, it seems like- At least it seems like it, because I'll be pelting them with shots and nothing, man. Absolutely nothing. Where is this guy peeking from? Alright, we got him. <laughs> I'm gonna be shot from behind! Post up. Come on, push. Fair! Fair! Alright, alright, we're doing- we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Pressure recording not getting to me. I'm used to it. It's fine. Um, where should we push next? Let us go towards mid. Why not? Seems like I'm not getting in too many long-range engagements, which is good. And yikes. Me in the panic. Get into the hole! <laughs> me in the panic. Uh... We got him! What the fudge? What is that aim assist, man? All right, super place, here we go. Oh, yikes, that's a big yikes. All right, I don't, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get another person. That's okay, that's okay, at least we didn't whiff it. Right, we didn't whiff it, and that's all that matters. Okay, I'll take the, that's a gimme, that's a gimme, I'll take it, why not? Oh, Spectral Blade, lovely. That's my favorite, dude, honestly. That was sarcasm, by the way. We're gonna go for it. Can't even see, I'm just, oh my gosh. Those knives have no drop off. Whenever, I'm still trying to get used to it because whenever I use those knives, I use them as if they're a normal knife, which has like drop off. So I always try to calculate, like taking into account the drop off. And I think I watched a video, I forgot whose video it was, but they only start dropping off after like 35 to 40 meters. Whoa, let's not do this. Yikes, I'm whiffing my shoddy shots. But they start dropping off def after like 35 to 40 meters. So whenever like I throw it, I always try to aim like just above their head if I'm far away enough. And then it just totally goes over them. And it, I'm like, it always throws me off. And that's okay. With enough time, I'll probably eventually start to get used to them. And what I can't say though is that, I think that's a Randy. There's no chance of me winning that gunfight. Um, is that... Bungie did an amazing job on the animation! On the animation, it looks great. It looks really good. He's gonna be pushing up from below here. This is stupid, I'm weak and I'm pushing him. That was really dumb. All he had to do was body shot me. I'm like, I knew I was like half health and I still pushed him. I just do dumb things like that, man. 
It's okay, because, I mean, that's what I do. I do stupid. I do stupid things. I'll get the cleanup. Why not? Hitting 30 pop from back here. I'll take the assist. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're so nice. Thanks. Thank you for doing all the work for me. I appreciate it. Oh, whoa. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that, please? No, I was not going to choke another shoddy shot. I'm so weak and I wasted my knife. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, fuck. He's going to push me. He's going to push me. No, don't go back. Don't go back. No, what the? What just happened there? I was like, all right, I had the one dude. I just need to put one more shot into this guy. And then, like, three more dudes run, run past the door. Oh. Man, what am I saying, man? What am I saying? I'm grasping for words. I'm trying to find things to say, man. Oh, look at this. Look at assisting. 60 to 64 from that far. Not gonna lie, post nerf, post nerf, that's pretty impressive. I think there's a bug right now that actually allows the Not Forgotten and the Lunas How to hit farther than usual. I'm pretty sure. Will we get them? Nah, not far enough. Um, I think it allows it to hit farther than usual, which is really cool. Um, what the heck? Okay. Oh, fudge! That was pretty good! That was pretty good. I'm gonna... Alright, I'm sorry. I want to watch that back. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what? He recorded that? I'm gonna be honest. I have not really done anything useful with those exotics yet. So it's really cool to see. Um, really cool to see that I actually did something with them. <laughs> this is a golden gun. Oh, no. Crispy three taps. Oh, my gosh. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <gasps> he missed me. We got him. We got another one. I'm dead. But it's great because we got him. Nice. This is going all right. This is going okay. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Now, the question of the day is where do I pop my super? <clears throat> right? Because, wow, I got it pretty quick, actually. Because as of recently, I've been kind of whiffing on this. Um. Let's not get sniped. Oh! Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'm so used to six shot, man. But it's fun. You know, because six shot, you can just whiff half your shots and it doesn't even matter, which is good for me. <laughs> but. Whoa! Whoa! Why wouldn't he mail? I was spamming the melee button, bro. I was spamming the right trigger. Not right trigger. Right stick. What am I saying? That's fine. It's okay. That's fine. I'm fine. That's fine. We're all fine. That's the word of the day. I am fine. Word of the day. I got arbalisted from arbalisted. That made no sense. No, that made no sense. What am I saying? Okay. I'm talking a lot. I don't even know, man. My my windpipes are really, really put in work today. That was something I don't want to witness. We got the headshot. That was crispy. We got the second headshot. Oh my gosh, I love these new knives. They're amazing. Thank you, Bungie, so much for nerf, I mean, buffing those. Nerf, what am I saying? That was, that is, that is an amazing buff. How dare I mistake it as a nerf? I'm just joking. I did not mistake it. I did not mistake it. I am just talking off the top of my head right now. And I also would love not to die by a Spectral Blade. We got him. Good team fire. Good team fire. Rock, come on, push me. Push me, push me. You won't. You won't! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, 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 we got him! We got somebody! I, you know, I am very pleased getting out of that situation with even just one kill. Because I have, I had no clue what was going on. I genuinely did not know what was going on. But we, we made it. We made it and everything is a-okay. Alright, let's see here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's that 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 was a thing that just happened. All right, anybody gonna push us? I'm not gonna lie, I'm really starting to like the Not Forgotten. You know, when I was first starting to use it, I'm like, this feels a little. F That's a slam. Wow, nice. The panics of all the panics. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a pretty good slam use. I gotta give it to you. That was pretty good. Kudos, kudos. I feel like that was a pretty solid match. I don't know. I mean, it felt all right. Um. 
We didn't get in too many long ga range engagements considering that game. 26, 2.7. I'll take it. That's not bad. I will take it. Did we win? I wasn't even watching. I think we won. Yeah, I think we did. What is that? What did we get? A sword! Amazing! Thank you. Thank you so much for that amazing gift that you have bestowed upon me. <clears throat> Anyway, so that was me running the toxic scumbaggy setup of uh, Not Forgotten and Dusk Rock Blues. Oh man, I feel like I need to clear my throat right now, but we'll get through it. Um, so yeah, Not Forgotten. You guys all know what it is. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's actually not bad. Post nerf, um, it was hitting at some ranges that at, it was hitting at some ranges that actually kind of surprised me because like I feel I'd be at the same length of range and it hit 30 and then there'd be another engagement I'd be at that same range length and it'd be hitting 60 to 64 which was really cool but also like I guess it also you just have to know when that drop off is and I think for something with the not forgotten I believe the drop off is around 30 30 meters 29 to 30 meters. For Luna, I'm guessing it'd be, I think it's like a one meter difference, so it's probably like 28, 27 or 28, so like, honestly, um, it's doing pretty good in the meta, I have to admit, it's doing pretty good, it's definitely got its place, um, I, I, I'd say it's probably one of the better 150s in the game, um, now, could something like a god rolled spare rations or something beat this out, maybe, yeah, it, it might be able to, but, I mean, right now, if the bug is still in the game, we're like, the perk gives it like extra range then these definitely have somewhat of an upper hand over other weapons in the game so i do think it is still worth getting these weapons definitely is still worth getting these weapons now is it worth to go for not forgotten if you already have luna now that's that's a tricky question that's a really tricky question to ask now not forgotten let's see it has less handling and less stability in luna but at more range, but it has more range. And Luna's got more stability, more handling, and it feels really snappy, I must say that, but less range, right? Because now, what? I think I said there was only a one meter difference between the two weapons, which could be make or break, but when you look at it in the long term, that's not really that much of a difference, right? That's not that big of a difference. But both guns are very good. I would say, you know, now that they made getting to Legend easier than it was before now i i must say once you get up into like high mythic it it, it definitely is difficult people aren't slouching but i'd say up until mythic it definitely is a lot easier so uh, uh p you know i didn't think i was necessarily capable of getting this gun pre shadow keep but now with the changes that were made and whatnot i somehow finally managed to get my hands on it and i've really been loving it i think it feels good um but like i said um it depends how much you value that range, right? If you already have Luna and you don't necessarily care about the range or care about getting the Not Forgotten, then, you know, I wouldn't really say it's a, a weapon that's necessary to get. But if you feel like you want to put in a little bit more of extra work and you think that one meter difference of range is really going to matter for you, then I'd say, heck yeah, go for the gun. Um, it, it's a great gun. It definitely still has a place in the meta. Um, it's nowhere, obviously nowhere near as broke as it once was, but in terms of like where it is now, how it compares to other 150s, it's the precision frame, so it's easier to like land shots, and it's got, I'd say, more range than most of the other precision frames out there, so it's definitely still worth getting in my opinion. Definitely not, uh, you, it's not a must get though, by any means. If you have the Luna or a really good spare Ashens, it's not something that you need, but I definitely say it's worth getting, um, so I'd highly recommend it. Um, it's a great gun, had a lot of fun with it. But yeah, that's the Not Forgotten, still holding up in this meta, so it's good to see that it still has a place, but yet isn't absolutely stupid and broken, so thank you Bungie for how you balance this, I, re I really appreciate it, they're not like getting 3 taps, you know, that crispy .69 time, time to kill, I think it was .69, that was not fun, so thank you for adjusting that, but yeah, that's the Not Forgotten, um, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and stopping by, hanging with me today, hope you all have an amazing day. Remember to stay as positive as possible, and I'll see you guys in the next video.